Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Fatih here. Uh, so today I will just uh, go over how to mod uh, the new Blood Saint Curse of the Moon game. So basically you just need one tool for it, which is uh, called Text Mod. Here is the link, which I will put in the video description as well. So basically uh, you run Text Mod, you put in the target application, which in this case is Blood Saint Curse of the Moon. Uh, then you go into uh, logging mode. Uh, these are the settings I used. Like the most important thing is to change the output format to .tj, because that's where you will get uh, a um, an alpha channel as well. So I'll just create the output folder and name it whatever. So for this one, I'm just gonna call it Dangetsu. All right, and then we run the game, and it will launch the game in a special uh, logging mode, I guess. And as you can see in the top uh, left, uh, it shows you uh, like some options and stuff. So with the plus key and uh, the minus key, you can uh, select a texture. So let me just do that. I'll try to find something that's actually, let's see. Let me load the game first, so the texture actually loaded uh, into memory. And then I'll try to find the uh, sprite sheet for Zagetsu. Alright, so this is the uh, texture for Zangitsu. I'll just export it by hitting enter. And with that done, I'll just close the game. So in the uh, output folder, you can see that I have the texture right now. So with that, I'll just put it, uh, I'll open it in Photoshop and do some quick modifications to it. So as you can see, like there is an alpha channel right now. This is used for the trans uh, transparency effects. So I've created some actions in Photoshop that help me create uh, a, a transparent image based on the alpha channel. So there are two ways I can do it. Yeah, I either make a mask for it. So as you can see, like it's still the original image, but it's, it's using a mask. Or I can just make it say, I, Actually, it's transparent image by doing it like this. So, and with that, uh, in Photoshop, to make things a little bit easier, you can go to both index color. And with that, uh, change the palette to exact, and then make sure transparency is enabled as well. And with that, when we hit OK, uh, we now are basically limited to the colors of the color palette. And another cool trick with uh, changing palettes, you can go to both uh, color table. And in the color table, it will show you all the colors that are being used. You can uh, modify them uh, directly as well. So for example, Langetsu has a red coat, right? so we can change that. Like, I don't know, uh, now let's just try, try to create like a uh, shadow Langetsu, I guess. And it's pretty much how you do a super quick uh, balance change. I'll do some uh, slight adjustments to this as well. 
So uh, just uh, hang in there while I uh, do this stuff manually. And I guess also uh, one thing to note is uh, like the game doesn't actually use like palleted uh, textures or sprite sheets. So if you wanted to, you could like upgrade all these sprites to be more like a 16-bit uh, uh, game. So you can use a lot more colors than just uh, what's in there. So as, as I mentioned, uh, the game isn't actually using like palette textures and I'll use some of uh, Photoshop's uh, tools to help me with some of the colors as well. So you aren't limited to just uh, doing everything pixel by pixel or whatever. You can just uh, use all the tools that are available to you in Photoshop. But this is a quick uh, way to get you started, just change a few colors around and uh, then do your uh, final uh, adjustments. I think that should be all for the eyes. So I just convert it back to uh, RGB mode. Now with this I can uh, start using some of Photoshop's uh, adjustment layers. So for example, I can go something with this and add in a little bit of color to the uh, otherwise completely gray character. Alright, so now with the uh, sprite sheet uh, finished, 
I'll just flatten the image. And because we need an output channel, I'll just use one of the actions and uh, create this for me uh, automatically. So this are the old sprite sheets, like a shadows I get to, if you will, and with the alpha channel in there. So uh, basically what this means is you don't need to like, if you wanted to, you could add more stuff to it. Like if you, for example, wanted to, uh, so I'm going to step spike here, you could like change the transparency and so whatnot as well. So pretty much uh, just use whatever you can. So with that, I'll just save as a .tga. Make sure the alpha channels uh, is checked on. And you can either just uh, override it or give it a different name. But if you are going to give it a different name, you need to change something in one of the uh, export files as well. And make sure that uh, 32 bits per pixel is selected as well. So that should be it for the sprites creation. So right now you can see I've got two textures. This is the original, the one I created. Uh, because it has a different name now, you need to change that in the text uh, mod.log file. So just make sure that the name is correct. So FB Shadow. Save that. And now in, again in the uh, text mod uh, file, go to package build. Select for the... Uh, Search for the text mod.log file. Give yourself a some credits. So, for example, shadow Zangetsu. That's the description. Then we build. And it will create a, a .tpf file. Uh, you can save this wherever you want. So, I'll just save it to my desktop. And that's done. It says as it says one texture edits. So we can close that off. We don't need this anymore. So now when we uh, in package mode, you need to uh, specify which uh, mod it should be using. So we just browse to the uh, recently created uh, mods that we created just from the game. And now when you play as Zangetsu, it should be uh, the uh, Shadow Zangetsu version. And that's pretty much it. So now you're playing with, say, uh, Shadow Zangetsu. And this can be done for uh, every sprite in the game. It's not just limited to the characters or whatnot. For example, you can change the uh, the uh, interruptible items, uh, the enemies, the texture, uh, the uh, backgrounds and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just uh, reach out to me on uh, YouTube. I'm also on Twitter. Uh, it's, it's, my Twitter is uh, BatiG underscore. I'll put uh, some uh, links and whatnot in the description uh, if you guys uh, want to give me a flow and whatnot. I also stream on uh, uh, Twitch, which, again, I also put, I'll also put a uh, link in the description. So, yeah, if you guys have uh, enjoyed this uh, quick mod video, uh, a like a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it uh, consider subscribing as well if you would like to have more videos like this explaining uh, how to do mods and whatnot from games so yeah thank you guys for uh, watching this video and uh, see you guys next time